Vincent Tabak's story starts here in Uden in the southeast Netherlands. It's his hometown. He grew up here with his three sisters and brother, what many people would regard as a normal upbringing. Tabak's CV is hardly that of a killer. Born in 1978, he left school at 18, joining Eindhoven University of Technology. He studied architecture, building and planning. Tabak started at this university as a student, but he stayed on to be a researcher and a teaching assistant. In his 11 years here, they say he caused no problems. He was responsible for no attacks. He has no previous convictions. In 2007, he moved to Bristol when he started work at the Bath branch of the engineering firm Bureau Happold. His CV lists his interests as hiking and travelling. And he was settling down with a girlfriend who shared his interests, Tanya Mawson. They lived together, ran half marathons together, and when they were apart, they would spend hours on the phone together. But Tabak had a sinister secret that he kept to himself. He spent hours online looking at violent pornography, images of strangulation during sex. The jury in his trial wasn't told this in case it influenced their decision. Only Tabak knows what happened inside 44 Canning Road last December, why he killed his neighbour Joanna Yates. The court heard this highly intelligent, devious, manipulative man knew he must hide his tracks. In many murderers that, that I, I've, I've looked at and, and spoken to, he was unusual in that he was a very thoughtful man who could think ahead of what the implications might be of his actions and uh, could draw on what people expected of him to keep the fiction going. Tabak's brother has told Dutch TV of his disbelief that Vincent was a killer. I really can't imagine that he's capable of doing something like this. Of course I know him for quite a long time and he's a very friendly, warm and helpful guy. In Eindhoven, Tabak's trial for murder hasn't made the same headlines as in the UK, but college staff and old friends remember the once promising student of architecture who tonight became one of Britain's most notorious murderers. Robert Murphy in Eindhoven for the West Country Tonight.